Hello guys. So today we are going to continue on uh, subtopic 11.2, actions of antibodies. This is an even shorter subtopic compared to our previous one. So um, let's go through it really quickly. Okay, the learning standards is this, there's only one learning standard here, is that you should be able to discuss the action of antibodies on foreign antigens. Okay, we have uh, five which is uh, neutralization, agglutination, precipitation, opsonization, and also lysis. So there are five actions of antibodies which we are going to cover in this subtopic like really quickly. Okay, now first is that there are several ways of antibodies that act through specific antibody properties to protect the body from foreign antigens. Okay, so the five things, there's now the five uh, defense, which is the neutralization, agglutination, precipitation, and opsonization, also and lysis. So this is the antigen and antibody to immunity concept that you are going to see here. Okay, now, um, neutralization. What is neutralization? Neutralization is when an antibody binds to an antigen of a pathogen. Okay, for example, virus or bacteria. Okay, to prevent the ability of the pathogens to bind to the body cells. Okay, so this will neutralize the pathogen. The antitoxin of the antibody can also neutralize toxin that are released by the pathogens. Okay, by binding to it and then prevent the toxin from entering the body cells. So it neutralizes the uh, pathogens. Okay, agglutination. Okay, agglutination is when uh, the antibody then binds to an antigen, okay, and coagulate the pathogens or the antigens, okay, making them unable to function. Okay, so you can look at the picture here. Okay, the antibody and the antigens, okay, they coagulate, agglutinate, same meaning, okay. So the clumping of this pathogen that has been weakened can actually facilitate phagocytosis. Okay, by the phagocytes. It's easier for the phagocytes to engulf the whole pathogens. Okay, once the antibodies coagulates the pathogen. Okay, next is precipitation. Precipitation is when the um, antibodies, okay, they bind to dissolve antigens. Okay, the antibodies here, we also call them as precipitate. Okay, will bind to dissolve the antigens to form insoluble antibody antigen complex that precipitates. Okay, so the antibody antigen complex precipitate facilitate the phagocytosis by the phagocytes. Again, same thing. It's easier for the phagocytosis to happen. Okay, next, opsonization. Opsonization, okay, involves the antibody name opsonin. Okay, opsonin now will bind to the antigen of the pathogen to form a structure that can be recognized by the phagocytes. Okay, now phagocytes will identify the bacteria that are marked by the opsonin, okay, and then swallow them. So again, phagocytosis can happen because of this process, this uh, antibodies antigen complex. All right, and then next is lysis. Lysis is when the antibody named lysine Okay, will actually bind to the antigen of the pathogen and then decompose the pathogens. Like in this case, we don't need phagocytosis. It just undergoes decomposition, the whole bacteria, okay, because of the antibody lysine. Okay, we are done actually. I told you it's a very short subtopic, okay, 11.2. I don't think so. This is about five minutes. So, um, yeah, so there's no formative practice 11.2 here, so I don't have any questions for you. But I, as long as you know the actions of antibodies, so roughly you know, so these are mostly, I think, in objective questions. But you know that neutralization, opsonization, lysis, and whatsoever, they actually helps in the antibody uh, binding to the antigen in these five different processes. So, yeah, I hope it helps. So, thank you for watching my video and don't forget to like and, like and subscribe to my channel. Okay, bye-bye.